Hey guys, Megan here. It is a very rainy day in Megan land. It's also very cold, so we're gonna snuggle. So, some, I haven't done a video in a hot second, and because my life is crazy, I have been having this certain topic on my mind for a really long time, and I was like, it's raining, it's cold, I am done with all the rest of my shit that I always do, and for some reason I have a moment of downtime. Can we get a hallelujah, amen? Topic that has been on my mind for a little while is, I don't even know like what the caption would be for this, but it's basically doing whatever the fuck you want and not feeling bad about it. Can we like just talk about this for a second? Because I feel like when I scroll through Facebook, you know, you, you see these people who are like so depressed with their life and, or maybe not even depressed, maybe they're just dealing with some shit. You no, know, they post that they wanna do something, but they can't. And all I ask is why? Why can't you get that other job that you want? Why can't you go on vacation? Why can't you, have a mental health day to yourself and go get your nails done? Why can't you get that dog that you've always wanted? Why can't you go shopping for a minute because you never, you know, get stuff for yourself? Like why, why can't you have some time off and just drive for an hour? Why can't you go spend $400 on a concert ticket? Like why can't you? Or like, you know, there's so many other things like, I want to dye my hair red. Why can't you? I want to get a tattoo. Why can't you? I want to start wearing a different wardrobe. Why can't you? Typically when these questions get asked, I see people saying, well, I don't have the money. I have a husband that won't let me. I have, well, my family would, would shun me or, you know, whatever the case may be. I don't know. I don't have the time. I don't have the support, I would get made fun of, people would look at me funny, people would question my motives, like whatever the case may be, I'm sitting here telling you right now, like you have to understand that what you wanna do is what you want to do, not what your husband wants you to do, not what your mom wants you to do, not what your great, great, great grandma who's dead in her grave wants you to do, not what your aunt's, uncle's, monkey's cousin wants you to do. It's you, it's your life, right? In this little box, okay? It's your, your life, it's whatever you wanna do. And you should never, ever, ever, ever made made out to feel bad for that because regardless of if it's right or wrong or insane or sane or morally okay or whatever the case may be no matter what it's your opinion and it's what you want to do because it's your feelings so there's not a single part of me out there that is ever going to judge someone for what they want to do because at some point it's what they want to do even when it comes to people who are doing something that I know or feel is wrong, if they wanna do it, go fucking do it, okay? That should be on a t-shirt. If you wanna do it, go fucking do it. I've had a lot of issues pop up where I have been asking myself, should I do that? Or I'll, I, I'll have something that I wanna do and other people would be like, she shouldn't be doing that. Well, I want to sit here and tell you guys that you guys don't live my life just as much as I don't live your life. So if you want to go out and do something, if you want to go get your tattoo, if you want to go shopping and splurge on yourself, if you want that $400 concert ticket, if you want to go on vacation by yourself or with friends, whatever, if you want to get a divorce, if you want to go date other people, if you want to get that dog you've always had your eye on, if you if you want, I don't, I don't know, whatever the case may be, if you want to do it, you're gonna be the one to tell yourself to do it. I've sat here for decades now at this point saying that I want to go to New York City and I want to live in New York City. I've never fucking done it because I've always had excuses. I've always said, well, I don't have the money. My family won't approve of it. You know, now I'm married and can't get out of the house to go. And you know, now I have other things that I have to deal with 
like my business and you know my dog my dog not gonna like new york city but what it comes down to is you can't let that stuff stop you from doing it because the majority of these things are dreams that people have, bucket list items. I mean, maybe it's something as simple as they just want to go drive around for an hour and, you know, someone's telling them that's a stupid idea. I don't know, whatever the case may be. Why are you allowing people to make you feel bad for your feelings? Or your opinions on something or what you want to do? Why are you allowing people to tell you what you need to do. That's what's been on my mind lately. Because you know, there, there have been some things that I've been dealing with lately that of course people are saying um, that it's such a terrible idea and that it's such a bad idea and why would she do this? Well, I'll tell you one thing right now, y'all don't know the whole story. Y'all don't know the whole story when, you know, Nancy down the road wants to get a tattoo of her grandma who passed away, but her other family, you know, says, well, tattoos are a sin. Okay, but you don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's her way of grieving. Who the fuck cares? Let her live her fucking life. Maybe someone, we'll just use me for an example. Maybe Megan wants to go spend $900 on a concert ticket to take something off of her bucket list because she knows Miss Celine Dion is not gonna be in Vegas much longer and she has to check this off her damn bucket list. So why can't I do that? Why are people so judgmental? It's my life, not yours. It's my bank account, not yours. It's my bucket list, not yours. Okay, do you see where I'm going with this? Now, there's a lot of other shit that's happening right now in my life that, of course, people have an opinion on. I always just try to take a step back and remember that it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't fucking... It, I shouldn't care. Of course, we as humans, we are sensitive to stuff like this, you know? If someone talks bad about us or if someone has an opinion, we take that to heart. And I will be the first to admit that I am the worst person to take like criticism from because I'm very, very, very sensitive. And I have a very big problem with being sensitive and I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've gotten to a point in my life where some shit has went down and I've never taken the time in my life ever, and I, I'm 100% honest, you, know, you all know I'm a very honest, I'm a very real person. I have never once taken the time in my life to sit here and do something for me. I've never done that, ever, ever, ever. And when I feel like I'm starting to do something for myself, shit takes a weird turn off the road and hits a freaking stop sign. Okay, that's just how my life works. It's how it's always worked. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's how it works. I am doing something for myself where, you know, I'm taking this whole year, 2019, to regroup on me a little bit. But people are out there saying that that's a stupid idea. That's wrong. She's a coward. You know, she's, she's doing something she shouldn't be. She's running away from her problems. But I'm like, bitch, how are you going to say that when this isn't even your life? This is mine. How do you know what I'm going through? How do you know my feelings on the matter? I'm just trying to point that out as an example that no matter who you are, where you're at in your life, what you do with your life, the decisions you make in your life, and what you want to do with your life, nobody can tell you differently. I feel like once you get to that point in your life, it's kind of like a big weight gets lifted off your shoulders because all of a sudden you don't fucking care about anybody anymore because it doesn't fucking matter. Again, it's your life, not theirs. It's your life, not anybody around you. So once you get to that point in your life, I just feel like things start becoming smoother sailing. I can sit here and tell you, I don't think that I've felt this content in a really long time. That doesn't mean that I'm still still not dealing with my demons, my battles, my tears, my, you know, anxiety, my depression. Like, obviously, all of those things, you know, happen and can be combated over time. But, like, I haven't felt this content in a long time. And I'll be damned if someone's going to make me feel bad about that. I'll be damned if someone's going to rain on my parade right now. I'll be damned if someone's going to tell me that I'm doing the wrong thing when I feel in my heart that, you know... If I need to work on me, let me fucking work on me, okay? And that shouldn't be a problem. You know that, like, 
I am the type of person that I get defensive because I'm sensitive and I wanna like prove my point to people. I've always been the person that lets it get to me. I'll be real, like I get real defensive about stuff and I'll be honest, I'll just start talking with my hands and <laughs> you know when I start talking with my hands that shit's about to go down. But when you get to a point where you just like, you don't feel like you have to do that anymore. I just think that the world is such a better place in your mind. I don't know if that even makes sense. I really don't know. But I've gotten to a point in life as of recent where I just feel like if I'm taking some time for me, that's okay. I used to be judged. I mean, I still am judged. I'm judged, like I said, by my tattoos, my hair color, my clothing that I wear, you know, whatever the case may be, I'm still judged. But it doesn't matter if someone sits here and tells me that it's a sin to put, you know, art on your body. Okay, cool, bro, but I don't believe in that. So you can hashtag buy. It's hard, man. It's hard. I'm not gonna sit here and make this video saying it's easy and just do this step by step and you'll get there. Cause it's not that easy. It's taken me 31 fucking years to get to this point. And I'm just now realizing that at 31 years old, I could have done a lot more in life if I wouldn't have let people get to me. And if I would have just done what I wanted to do. But I am at this point and I'm telling you this right now that if you can get to that point and just do you boo, do you. Because in the end, what the fuck does anybody else matter to you? You do you, boo. You do you because you are you. No one else can be you. You have your feelings because they're your feelings. You have your decisions because they're your decisions. No matter what you do in life, no matter who you meet, no matter what you love, who you love, what you want to do, where you want to go, why and how you want to travel and make all this work, it doesn't matter. No, or it matters, but no one else's views on that matter because this is your dreams. This is your life. So do not let people tell you how to live that life because they can live their own life. You got to live yours. And when you can separate the two of those, I just feel like it's you, you be in a better place. Okay. Everything does happen for a reason. I feel like that is what I've always lived by. And I think whatever's meant to happen will always happen. But do yourselves a favor and in the process of allowing life to happen, do you want to be dwelling and upset all the time? Or do you want to just do you? Do you want to just do you? I just want to do me. That is what my year is going to be like from here on out. And I hope that you guys can live like that as well. Obviously, disclaimer, not a psychologist. Just got a lot of stuff in my head that I'd like to share. Take it the way it is. Take it with a grain of salt. If it helps you, it helps you. If it doesn't, then just pretend you didn't listen to me. But that's my talk for you guys today. So, I'm sorry that I suck and haven't put a video out in a long time. But I had a lot going on. And I'm doing me, booze. I'm doing me, guys. I'm doing me. All right. Peace.